What's up, y'all? Thanks for chilling with me today. My name is Brody, and welcome back to Icarus. Today is day five, and uh, I did a couple things off stream, but I think today our focus is going to be um, getting our second drill extractor because I found an aluminum deposit right across the base, so it's super nice and easy to get to, even if I have to run tanks over there constantly. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm making up, mix, <laughs> making up. I'm mixing up some concrete. Um, I'm just gonna get a bunch of bags because eventually I want to upgrade to concrete, but I think I might go for the fabricator first. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I do there. We still got a ways to go. We got a lot of aluminum to get, carbon fiber to build, and lots of electronics. So, um, but I think we're gonna get uh, tier two tools, get a steel pickaxe going, so I can start mining aluminum. Um, and just kind of get, uh, get the balls rolling here. I also, here's a little surprise. It's raining. Another thing I did off stream, I'll show you two of them here. I got my own buffalo herd. <laughs> if you haven't checked out the short I posted, uh, yesterday or last night, you have to check it out. It's, I think it's funny. <laughs> but I got... Four buffalo no <laughs> and I unlocked in the skill tree I got the wooden buffalo cart it holds a thousand kilograms of weight capacity which is insane plus the 60 mount cargo inventory slot I think this slows them down a ton but if he could just follow me around we can go out and pick up a bunch of stone and like silica and stuff we'll have like a concrete empire <laughs> if you will by the time I'm done I also have a ton I shouldn't say a ton a lot more flower beds uh, because I got all those animals they don't have any food right now so luckily it's been raining a lot and I don't have to water these and I'm working with this wood composter oh look I got two uh, two fertilizers now it might be a waste to put it on the, on some of these now, but why don't we just give it a try here? See what it does. Oh, so I gotta I gotta keep it in there. Okay. Fifteen percent plant. Oh, tell me right here. Fifteen percent planted crop growth speed plus fifteen percent planted crop yield. Oh. Hopefully that pays off. Maybe we can get some corn going here too faster. But I got carrots. Uh, this should be tea. The coffee, the, uh, the corn, and a bunch of these berry bushes just because they yield so much. Should help me keep these animals fed. So yeah. Uh, why don't we make the pickaxe right now? I have a bunch of steel and I don't know what else it requires for the steel pickaxe. Epoxy and wood, which I will have to go and get, I believe. Let me see here. I can go get some wood real quick. Okay, I got the epoxy and the wood. Make this steel pickaxe. Boom. I would make a steel axe, but I really don't need it at this point i mean maybe if i go and farm a bunch of trees but i really don't need it right now so we're just gonna stick with that and i'm gonna put this stuff back and then we can go we'll see where we're at with this mining drill i made some electronics so i just need to grab some copper and we can make another one and go set that in place Awesome. Oh, huh, my bad. A little bit more. I'm also going to need to find like a copper deposit because I'm going to be out of copper real quick. I mean, I'm already out of copper if I'm being, if I'm being real. Look at that. Our second mining drill already. We'll grab this tank and I'll show you guys where this deposit is. It's super close, which is really nice. Eat up real quick. Some stamina going. So if I remember right, I kind of stumbled upon it. And it was right outside. 
Let's see. I think it was over here. I only saw it once. I didn't go back to it, but we'll see. I think it's right over here on the other side of this. Oh, there's a wolf right there. You didn't see me. There it is right there. And a hair bear. Uh, uh, a hair bear. I don't, does this thing cause animals to come out? No, nope, I don't think it does. There's a boar though. Get some more bacon. You know, I'm still rocking this, this stone knife that breaks just about every time I skin something. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Clean that up out of the way here so I can get this started. Activate that. And we got unlimited aluminum. Outstanding. Now, I would go check on the other one, but since I turned the game off, it doesn't work without the game running, obviously. So I don't think there's any point in going over there since it is just one or a minute. It's going to take some time. That's why I also wanted to... Uh, Get this pickaxe too. Might as well grab these carrots because I can plant some more here in a minute. But yeah, that's super nice. It's right next to the base. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. And when I get the electric stuff in the water wheel, it'll be right here for me. So that's outstanding. What I really want to do is get that carpenter bench and get that uh, put that buffalo cart so I can go pick up all these stones that I left all over the place earlier on in the series. I mean, it's all over. I, it's literally everywhere. From that perk I have that you probably saw earlier in the series too is uh, I have a, I think it's a 10% shot or chance to um, mine a stone in one hit. Which is pretty awesome. I don't hate it. It's just sometimes when you're running away from something and you need some stone for some quick arrows, that's what's gotten me so far. Cook up this bacon. Let's go check on that fertilizer. I think it's this stuff is done already. Look at that. Oh. Drops fiber too. So that one was fertilized. This is weird, dude. Is it just random? And I'll take it. Very boost stamina for a short time. So what's the difference between the one that's I'm I grew? I still don't understand that, but whatever. I feel like there's a quicker way of doing this, and I'm just doing it wrong. Let me know in the comments if there's a faster way of planting. I have grown fiber <laughs> would you look at that i wonder if it stays fresher longer maybe that's the deal cool well, at least i got some food for uh the boys back here boys or girls i guess whatever they may be There you go. No, oh, their water must fill up automatically when it rains, which is super cool too. All right. Well, now that we got the farm situated, the animals are getting fed. Let's drop some stuff off and then I'm going to go find some aluminum and, uh, and mine it. I also decided to make this uh, steel knife real quick. So it's just some wood epoxy uh steel ingot and some screws it's kind of expensive honestly but i'm sitting here with the stone knife this whole game having to repair it all the time and these knives with the cave worms if they decide to show up right in your face it's a pretty nice thing to have and since i'm here let's repair that still throwing knives i feel like i'm just gonna lose those if i ever did anything like that Put this stuff back real quick and we're good to go. This stuff can all hang out with me. Not a big deal. 
And let's go get some aluminum and whatever else we can find. All right, we're back here at the big cave. I'm just gonna keep going to this one until I completely empty it, unless I need something else. But I can also, oh, check it out. Steel knife, baby. Let's go. Two little shanks. Come on, pal. See ya. I don't know what any of this stuff does yet, but maybe I need a ton of it and I shouldn't be uh, just leaving it. Maybe I make some good armor out of it. I don't know though, because I feel like they're, they're really easy to kill. They just, they just creep me the hell out, you know? <laughs> Um, where do I see that a little bit? Right around the corner here. Right next to the other cave wormy. Oh, come on. How did that get me? Oh. Let me put this other torch on. What is this stuff again? Oh, titanium. I think I'm gonna need all this, so why not? We can also check on our uh, our drill here. See how she's doing. 44. That's a half a tank right there. Outstanding. Might as well bring that back. We need the electronics, right? So. Oh, yeah, how am I supposed to get that one? Parkour. Hardcore parkour. I ain't getting up there, dude. Oh, wait. Nope, there is no way. Oh, I heard two of them. Oh, my gosh, dude, I get the chills every time. It's no joke. Oh, right out of the water. See ya. All right. Need the copper too, so. Except it's not gonna be easy to get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. If you play this game, we've all done it. We've all had to do it. If there's an easy way to get up there, let me know. Do I have to build, maybe? Probably have to build, don't I? Bring some ladders or something in the mine or the caves. Is that just iron? That looks weird. Come on, man. They got to make this easier to maneuver in here one of my biggest complaints about this game the rocks give us some kind of grip for them give us something to wear to grab you know grab these rocks or something you know I don't have too much to complain about this game but there's a couple things in here that just kind of I feel like could be fixed by now But it is what it is. Well, I'm pretty sure I killed all the cave or worms out of here. I'm just going to collect everything I can and, uh, and, uh, see you guys back at the house with everything I got. All right. I made it back and this is what I got here. Let's go over here and I'll show you here. I got 65 aluminum, which honestly isn't bad. I didn't get to get all of it. I didn't get to get all of it. <laughs> that sounded weird at first. Um, because I didn't have enough storage. Because I needed some iron and I need to make some more tanks for that. Because I only, I used my only two on the two drills I have now. So, um, but I did clear out the machine and I found a little bit more gold in there, which is pretty awesome. So another 88 gold in one run. Took me about 10, 15 minutes to do. Not bad. Platinum ore. 
I don't know. I haven't ever used platinum yet in this game. Uh, before and now, I haven't used it yet, but I have it. <laughs> so, it's some copper and iron, of course. Let's go ahead and cook up half of this. Severe winds, oof. We'll cook all that up and we'll cook up this iron. Yeah, we need to cook up the iron. And we'll throw the coal in here. Cook up some of this copper. Spoiled plants. We're getting ourselves set up here. It's awesome. I love it. All right, this is what I'm thinking. Now hear me out. Off cam, I was just offloading stuff and I had to run for a second, just left the game AFK. Came back and I was in the middle of a massive windstorm. Now, it didn't even give me a chance to start repairing and like these top roof walls, especially these two, specifically these two, pretty much disintegrated right off the bat. Luckily there was enough left to them that I could repair and um, I didn't let this stuff get cut out. Which, this wouldn't be hard to replace, but you know how that goes. I mean, it drops the stuff on the inside, but then you have to rebuild everything, and it just kind of... It's just a little minor setback, but we were able to avoid it. So, what I am thinking I'm going to do is I unlocked... Uh, let me find it real fast. I'll go quick. Is it not in this one? Is it in this one? Oh, boy. I'm in shambles. Uh... <laughs> hold on hold on it was right next to the carpentry bench right here the wooden buffalo cart i was showing you guys this earlier so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the carpentry bench which means i need to go get more copper it looks like i'm gonna build that i'll get that going and then off cam i will go mine a bunch of stone and as much silica as I can find and then there's that 1141 crocodile and I'm not happy about that what do I got for I got 64 arrows we got any sticks on me good all right um I'm gonna take care of that guy real quick so he doesn't mess with my garden over there and what I think and you guys can let me know down in the comments but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a nice big home right here it's gonna be beautiful nice bigger space for more activities we can add on to it later and then down there by the water um will be the garden and eventually i'm hoping that we get to the point where we can do a greenhouse um because i correct me if i'm wrong if you know this game but i'm pretty sure when you have your plots in a greenhouse it gets a buff on that plot and gets better output essentially because right now i think just regular unfertilized stuff i'm at like uh seven corn i get per deal and that's just doesn't seem hardly worth it to be doing this stuff except for the fact that i don't have to run out anymore should i challenge this guy in the water <laughs> See if I can get that death roll. He is a level 41. I think that's the biggest one I've seen around this area. Man, I just don't know where to... Oh yeah, look at that tongue. It's just random. I feel like it's in his mouth, but... Ooh, is he bleeding? Is that what that means? Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that creepy. You play this game with the volume cranked up in your headset? Like I said before, the hair just stands up on my legs, dude. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure you guys are all wondering too. I'm sure a bunch of you guys are wondering why I haven't upgraded my tools. I mean, I'm dropping these animals. I could say fairly quickly with the original bone and or bone original bow and bone arrows or stone arrows i'm not even doing bone arrows 
so I don't feel the need to upgrade just yet, but I haven't done any of the missions, which is what I'm kind of working towards. I don't want to just rush into these missions. I want to be able to get exotics and do these missions um, fairly easy without any challenge. So anyways, that was my plan. I think is I'm going to build a nice big base here and we could do like the greenhouse area down there and i don't know how the water wheel works yet because that's new to me but i think you could put it anywhere on the stream but i'm thinking worst case i have to push it up there maybe to get some water flow but this does have does have a little bit of a drop right here so i'm guessing it'll probably be okay what is attacking me nothing we're good we're good so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go build the carpentry bench I'm gonna go get a bunch of oh, a little buddy. Should I add another buffalo to the herd? <laughs> yeah, we gotta feed these guys. Come here, pal. I'm gonna need a bigger pen. I don't got nothing, man. Will you eat this? No. You stay in there, dude. I think I just dropped off. Oh. And I had to throw a nice little crate right here. Ooh. Let me just give him some carrots and... And whatnot. There. Oop. Oh, shit. What did I just drop? My knife. I don't want to lose that. Keep fat fingering that button. All these things sitting on water. They are bone dry. All right, I'm gonna water these things quick, and I'm gonna go gather the stuff I need for the carpentry bench, and we'll get that built, and then we will build the cart, and we'll be on our way. All right, so I got the stuff to build the carpentry bench. It was wood, rope, and copper nails. I already showed you guys that, but it wasn't too bad to do. 12 copper makes 120 nails and the rope. All simple stuff. But this is one of the problems I'm having. I'm running out of room. We'll just start slapping stuff right in the middle here. Oh, oh God, that's going to bother me. I'll fix that. <laughs> Sorry if that bothers you. Uh, but I was looking at this. It's kind of spendy. Not horrible. 50 refined wood, 10 epoxy, 20 rope, 15 nails, and 80 wood. I think the epoxy is the worst part about that. Although it's stuff's really easy to make. I just feel like I need so much of it for everything else. But the refined wood, it's 1 to 10. So we just need 5. 5 of that. I got the wood in the inventory, which I'm just going to drop it off on the carpentry bench for now. And go grab some rope and some nails real fast. All right, I got everything I need for the cart, the wooden buffalo cart. There we go. Let's make it up. Oh, a 40 second timer. I'm not going to make you guys wait 40 seconds, but I wonder if I need to have a saddle on him. I don't think you can ride it, though. Let me see where I put that saddle. We'll just hang on to it just in case. Man, I really need to uh, get a bigger pace and some more organizing. I'm sick of cooking on these little fires too. Sucks. And I just leave it too. This is usually what happens is I'll leave it on and just waste a bunch of wood. Not a big deal. Wood's easy, but there's only so many trees in this world. There it is. Wooden buffalo cart. <laughs> I'm so excited. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our boy here. Do I just drag and Oh shit! Alright, let me get him out of here first. <laughs> Wait, come here, dude. There. I don't think he can get struck by lightning, right? They live outside anyways. Hope not. All right, buddy. We're doing this in the storm. Let's go. Oh, God. Yeah, he's about to be slow. 
All right, I just mined a big rock and uh, holy buckets, dude. Let's transfer that over. I got a little bit of silica. Look how much this guy can carry, and there's still room. He's at 1,200 kilograms, though. That is so many stacks. And he just tanks it. Oh, look. Oh, that cart looked like it was about to break a wheel. <laughs> about to lose a wagon wheel. Yeah, get it? Look at him just ripping. That thing is so heavy. Jeez. <laughs> Put it in perspective, you can see at the bottom, I can only carry 173 kilograms. And he's got almost 1,300 on his back right now. Now, I know I'm about to build over here with the good stuff, but I'm going to stack up. I think I'm going to stack a bunch of rock piles right in front of my base here. Coming a little closer here, pal. There we go. This guy's awesome. See how much I can carry. I need this stuff out of the way too. Actually, I only need one thing out of the way. We'll just do that. And crafting. And we just start making a bunch of... A bunch of piles of stone. Dang, look at that. That is, I believe, 37 stacks is what I counted. 37. So that's 3,700 rocks. And it took me about 5 to 10 minutes. I literally hit two big boulders and with that perk I have or that talent, whatever you want to call it, uh, where you instant break rocks. Sometimes you have that small chance that I keep talking about. I think I mentioned it like 600 times. Um, it's definitely one of the best things you can get in this game. I'll, I'll have to point it out for you guys in a different episode. Um, but like I said before, I want to build over here, so this will get uh, a good start, and I can just do that a couple more times and and find a bunch of silica, and I think uh, we'll probably have the biggest damn base in the game. <laughs> but that's going to do it for me. Um, I really enjoy playing this game. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as much as I am playing it. Um, I really love you guys' feedback, the likes. Uh, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. You have no idea how much it means. And if you're going to continue to watch these videos, please hit that like button, comment, whatever you got to do. Share with a friend. Um, I appreciate it all. It keeps me going. So if you guys like this and other games like it, I play pretty much everything. FPSs, survival games. I keep talking about Valheim. I just have not got to start it. Um, I played a little bit before. Um, I just need to get back into it. This Mistlands update looks super cool. So I want to do that for sure. Um... Well, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And the next time you see me, I will be building a big old base. Let me know if you want me to stream it or put it on a video or just keep doing what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great night. Thanks again. Bye.